In this video, I'm going to show you a little secret about the nickel 245 odd that I don't think most people are aware of, and I think it's something that is very advantageous in terms of how we can get pressure from this formation against people who like to flip their bunch formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. Hope you enjoyed the video breakdown. We're in the Chicago Bears defense. Take a look at the nickel 245 odd. And if you want to get my full 245 odd defensive guide, I'm going to put a link in the description below so that you can go check out my Patreon membership. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive strategy guys, including my full 245 odd defensive guide. We've got over 25 offensive and defensive ebooks available that you would get immediate access to you also get a ton of updates in that membership where we just kind of do the subtle little tweaks to certain defenses certain coverages walk you through everything that you need to know about this game so if you want to get better i'd really encourage you to sign up for the patreon now the settings that i have on this right here is we're going to turn auto flip back on we're going to have auto alignment to base ball and air defense to play ball option defense on conservative and you can do this out of any play in this formation we're going to be doing it today out of the Tampa 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come out in my gun bunch formation flipped. And what you're going to see here is I'm going to get this auto flip. Now, what's really interesting about 245 odd is a lot of people like running this. The problem can be sometimes with this flip. Now, right there, you see we get a crazy, crazy good rush at the quarterback. That's not exactly always the case. So what we want to do is we want to use a loop concept that I think is absolutely incredible in this year's game. We're going to shift our defensive line uh, or our linebackers, I'm sorry, to the right side of the screen. And at this point right here, we're going to click the quarterback contain. Now, you can use this guy right here. I kind of like to stand like right in here, if you will. And that way, if they run the ball, I have someone there. But what you'll see is we're going to get this looping contain coming around the edge every single time. And this is what is such an advantage, in my opinion, about the 245 odd is if you notice here, we get this really wide split from this defensive end over here on the right side of the screen. And so what happens is as long as I can distract this guard, this container is going to loop without fail every single time at the quarterback. It's probably one of my favorite blitzes in the entire game. We have the cover two coverage, one of the better coverages this year. And what's cool about it is you can third. You can put this guy over here on the, le on the left side into a deep third. And now what you can do here is have a really nice coverage defense attached to one of the best blitzing concepts in Madden. Maybe potentially the best blitzing concept in Madden this season. Now, another thing that I wanted to break down for you in this video is how this would work if they block a running back. So I'm going to block my running back here on the right side of the screen. And what you're going to notice is a lot of times this blitz will still come in in that scenario. Occasionally he'll get picked up like that. Typically speaking, if he gets picked up like that, to be honest, it's what I just what I have found in my labbing is it's a little bit more about me making sure that I kind of really suck in this guard more so than the blitz not working. So I'm going to really suck in this guard here. And as you can see, I'm just having just a little bit of trouble getting this in. But as you can also see, we're shedding. We're only sitting four people. Okay, we're literally only sitting four people. You might want to start out a little bit wider, kind of right in this little range right here. And again, a lot of times you'll see that this will loop around. Okay, so that's the beauty of this. Now, if you're really struggling to get the pressure in, I'm going to show you something that you can do that has helped me significantly. So what we're going to do is whenever we move this, we're going to blitz the linebacker on the left side of the screen. Then we're going to QB contain. You're going to see that it's going to create this look right here. What this does is it's a five man pressure with a loop contain. And so what you'll see is this contain or this edge rush on the backside can typically be very, very effective um, against this defense. Now, another reason as to why this defense can have a little bit of trouble, at least in practice mode, um, from my experience, is if you have an ability on your D-line, it can certainly mess with this. So the fact that Zadarius Smith has edge threat, it can be a little problematic for the pressure. As you can see right there, just kind of being a little bit wonky. Um, but the beauty of this defense is found in the fact that they're going to have to do something to stop this. And on the left side of the screen, we can bluff blitz this defensive end, or for example, we can vert hook him. So you're going to see, we're going to do something like this right here. And now we're only sending three people at the quarterback and we have a nice contain on the right side. It's really, really hard, um, to be able to beat this defense. And as you can see, you know, just a simple little, little concept. Now, another thing that you can do with this pressure, when you shift your D-line, 
um, is if you want to shift your line to um, the right and when you shift your line to the right what this does is it just gives you a little bit better leverage just in terms of how the pressure is going to work and what you'll see right here is he just gets a little bit wider and you get this really glitchy pass off with Zadarius Smith. So again, if you wanted to make it a little bit more obvious that you're gonna be blitzing off of the right edge, um, I would recommend go ahead and shift your line to the right. This also gives you this kind of um, nice little technique here and I'll show you how this can be helpful for stopping the run. So let's say for example that they go to the trips tied in inside zone. Um, in this scenario, we might flip the play but the bottom line is you can see I'm in here. This can be a little bit more advantageous for trying to shoot this. Um, and I'll try to show it from a little bit better of an, of an angle. Um, so what we would do here, let me see if I can find like a, like a, um, a, a Y trips type formation. But what you'll see is I think Y off trio week is a good example. Let's see if this works. Yep. Okay. So this is halfback base from Y off trio week. We're going to make it the same setup and we're going to be kind of right in here. Okay. Just to the right of this guy. And a lot of times what you can do is just shoot in and dive tackle just like that. And again, that's one of the more subtle ways to stop the run out of this formation. Um, and what I like about this is kind of protects your user just a little bit more. And again, you're just trying to tick to uh, kind of mess with the guard a little bit and you'll see this loop. Um, that time didn't come quite in, but you see the concept I think is, is fairly effective. So again, um, you know, real simple setup too, by the way, literally just shift your linebackers. If you want to shift your line, what I would recommend too, is you can crash them to that side. Just gets a little bit of a sharper blitz angle. It's not going to affect that linebacker um, that's on the right side of the screen. And again, a lot of times you're going to get this pressure looping around uh, on the edge. So it's going to force them to have to do something, which is then going to open up more pressure concepts um, and just in terms of what we can do. So two, four, five odd to me is one of the best defenses in this game for a lot of different reasons. This is a nice little blitz that you can use, especially against bunch formations, um, because a lot of times you're gonna get really glitchy pass offs, really glitchy B gap pressures coming in at the quarterback. If you wanna learn more about this defense, I would really, really encourage you to join my Patreon membership. My Patreon membership is only uh, $10 to sign up for that, and it gets you access to literally everything Gets you access to all of the offensive and defensive ebooks. Gets you access to everything from the 245 odd, everything from the 335 odd, and all of those defenses that I have in there. I've got over 25 uh, offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to check that out, again, I'm going to link that down in the description. But like I said, this is just one of my favorite blitzes. If you can really suck this guy in, a lot of times you'll see that that looper will become much, much more consistent for you. Thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get the full 245 odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description below. You can click on that. It'll take you right to the Patreon where you can get signed up to check it out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.